Been a long time since you've seen that, huh? A smile on my face after a Tennessee football game. That's right, me and the Amish underpinning here today witnessed and enjoyed a beatdown of Vandy 42-17. to I'm going to be honest with you. Holy shit, LSU's ahead of Florida 14-7. to I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I thought we would lose to Vandy. I, I, I truly did, and I wasn't just trolling. I thought we were going to lose to Vandy when this game got here. Um, but we didn't, and that's good. Harrison Bailey looked pretty good. I still don't understand the quarterback rotation that Pruitt's doing right now. I, I, I don't understand that, but hey, look, he's the coach. Um, for better or for worse, and for most of this, this year it's been for worse. But hey, he is what we got, and we have to live and die with his decisions. And today we lived with him because uh, we didn't die by him. It's always good to beat Vandy no matter how bad your season's going. And this one, as everyone knows, has been an atrocious season. Three and six now. Only our third win of the year. Pathetic. This year started out great. Got a win over South Carolina. A win over Missouri. We're off to 2-0. and Had the nation's second longest winning streak at eight in a row, I think it was. Um... Great things were happening, right? Great things were going on in Knoxville. And then all of a sudden, the wheels got wobbly. You know? And, and, then, they, and then they fell completely off. And then the axles fell off. The next thing you know, we were Fred Flintstone in the damn car down the street. If you don't know what that means, that means we were using our feet. Things were bad. Bad, bad. Real bad. Awful bad. But at least, oh. we, whoops! And I pre at least for one night. Really, I I was thinking Harrison Bailey, guys. I was thinking he must be hurt. Isn't that what you all thought when they pulled him out? Of yeah. See, Tony Basilio doesn't understand it either. The quarterback rotation. Anyway, it was enough to get the win. Thank you for the win, balls. I needed that. Uh, Miami Hurricanes. What are you doing? Sixty-two points. You give up sixty-two points to even Alabama. That's bad. But you gave up 62 points to North Carolina. That's big bad. Uh, I, you know, I got a, I got several friends that are Miami fans, so I hate that for you guys. But as a longtime Miami hater, that's kind of funny. Oh, it's real funny. Oh, man. Talk about derailing a season. Whew. Man. Whew. But, hey, at least you didn't give up two points to a chick kicker. Coastal Carolina wins again. They're undefeated. Um, Army gets a big 15 to nothing shutout victory over Navy up in West Point. Their first ever win on their home field. So congrats, Cade Ballard and Munkin and all the great, great young men that play for Army and the great, great young men that play for Navy too. Uh, thanks for what you guys do and will do for this great country. That's it. Tennessee wins. Thank you for paying up your bet, Vandy Dandy. Very kind of you to do so. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And all that good stuff. No crow video this week, huh? How about that? Yeah. I kind of like that. Have a good one. Go ball. Screw y'all. So we'll see you next week when we finish up the season against Texas A&M. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get to play that game. Thank you.